Hello and welcome to Social Studies. Today we are going to focus on how is our local government organized? There are three branches to our government. We have the council who makes laws, the mayor who enforces the laws, and the courts who interprets the laws. Our big idea for today is local or community governments are divided into three parts or branches. One branch makes the laws. Some communities have a council for this branch. One branch enforces the laws. Some communities have a mayor for this branch. And one branch explains what laws mean. This branch also decides the punishment for people who break the laws. This branch is made up of the courts. To remind you, there are several characteristics of our community. Today, we will focus on government. You learn that laws are very important in a community. Laws help people keep people safe. Laws help people get along together. Who makes the laws in a, in a community? Read to find out. Now, this will be your focus question. Who makes the laws in a community? So pay attention as Mrs. Carlton goes through this lesson to try to pick out who makes the laws in the community. Now you learned that Lawless Town has a new law about garbage. Who made the law? So I'm gonna go through this, these slides and we're gonna try to figure out who made the laws. Who made the law, the garbage law in Lawless Town? The people of Lawless Town decided they needed a garbage law. They all got together to make the law. It wasn't an easy job. Why? There are too many people. It took a long, long time to make the law. People knew they needed more laws in Lawless Town. What would be a better way to make them? We need a better way to make laws. They decided to choose five people to make the laws in Lawless Town. But how would they choose the five people? How, who would pick? How would we know who the five people would be? Who would make it fair? They came up with three different ideas. The first idea is choose the five richest people in Lawless Town to make laws. Would that be fair? Or the second choice, choose five oldest people in Lawless Town to make the laws. Would that be fair? Or number three, have an election. An election is when you choose government leaders by voting. So which one do you think is the fairest or best way to pick those five people. Number three, have an election and choose by voting. How did they have an election? They asked for the names of everyone who wanted to be a lawmaker. Then they put the names on a list. Everybody got to vote for the five people they wanted. The five people with the most votes became the lawmakers. So who makes the laws? Lawmakers. So when we think back to <clears throat> who makes the laws in a community, well, the lawmakers make the laws in the community. The people of Lawless Town had an election. They voted on five people to make their laws. Your community also has a group of people who make the laws. In many communities, this is called the, a council. So either the lawmakers or a council make the laws. A council is a group of people who make the laws in a community. So this is Dearborn. I believe, maybe Dearborn Heights. 
a group of people who make the laws in a community. For example, a council is part of one of those branches of government. All right. Your job now is to go into your Google Classroom and you're going to go to your Seesaw assignment. Your Seesaw assignment looks like this. The instructions say add response. After listening to the social studies lesson, answer the question, who makes the laws in a community? You're going to use the label tool or the T to type out your response. Now, if you don't know who makes the laws, rewind this video just a little bit to go back where I'm explaining this. Who makes the law? Well, let me reread this part right here. A council is a group of people who make the laws in a community. These are also lawmakers. Once you finish your Seesaw assignment, don't forget to mark your assignment as done in Google Classroom. Good luck.